Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Well, this morning I am going to put on the propellers. I've been debating whether or not I should try and maybe paint the, uh, the propeller shafts before I put them in. But what I'm afraid of happen is going to happen here is that as I'm trying to slide them in, I'm going to be scraping the paint off. And I'm just wondering how how, the, how would they look if I didn't paint them at all? Would would it look? Uh, I don't think they would be that shiny, especially if the ship had a sat in the salty water for any length of time. Um, I'll think about it. We'll, we'll do something about it when we get to that point. Um, I, I, th I think that probably the... I'm trying to think, what, what would the, a shaft like that look like? Would it look greasy, you know? Uh, I don't think so. I think about the only place it would be greasy would be where, you know, where it went through the bearing. Or came, where it came right out of the, out of the hull. That, it might be kind of greasy there, but... Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, let, let's get going here and, and uh, try and do something today. No sunrise again this morning. Uh, no rollback again this morning. Uh, let, let's just sort of get right into it. Okay, here's my thinking now. That's a pretty tight fit there. It, it's a loose fit here, but it's a a tight fit right there where my finger is. I'm just thinking that the if this the inside of this was enlarged very slightly so this would slide through nice and easy if I was careful after I painted this um, maybe I could use something like the Steinal Res Black or something like that or the Steinle Res Gray might look, look better, and it will stick, I think, a little bit better to this metal. But if I could get it so that it would slide through there a little easier, right now I'm pushing, it's a little bit hard. But if I was to find a drill bit that was just slightly larger than this, this shaft is, and just very carefully drill this out, then I'd be able to just slide this through very, very gently. There'd be minimum scratching going on so that I would have not a whole lot of touch-up that I'd have to do. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and find a drill bit that's just slightly bigger than this shaft and just enlarge this. How's, how's this one over here? Yeah, this one's got the same problem. For for some reason, right right here where my finger's touching this end, it's uh, I don't know. The hole is kind of small. Okay, let's uh, carry on here. Okay, what I've got here is a, a drill bit that is eight one thousandths of an inch larger than the diameter of the shaft. It it almost wants to go, but not not quite. Um, I don't know if when I try to drill this out, my fear is that the drill bit could suddenly grab, you might say, and uh, then twist this hanger bearing right off of the hull. I, I don't think that would happen. Maybe I'll use my little Tamiya drill here and, uh, and uh, sort of have it loosely in the in the chuck, but maybe that's not a good idea either. Uh, I, th I think if I'm really really careful, I can I can get it to go. At least at least that's the plan. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll do this one over here that is closer to me, and then I'll turn the ship around and do the other one, probably off camera. Um, I, I don't think that'll break out of there, but we'll, we'll soon see. Well, I guess I can always glue it back. And it is the underside of the ship. No one's going to see it. Now, I want to try and get this as, you know, as, as straight as I can here. So, uh...
seems to be clearing itself pretty good. Well, that went actually about as good as could possibly go, I would say. Uh, where's my shaft here now? Now this should be a nice loose fit. Oh yeah, that, that's going to be a lot better. There will be very little scratching going on now. Okay, I'm just going to turn the ship around so I can uh, get the angle right. And although maybe... What would happen? Can I can I reach over there? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to get the camera out of the way. Sorry, I'm gonna have to move you. Okay, I put down a tea towel here because I'm gonna be sort of resting my arm on the on the hull, and uh, here we go. Is this a mistake? It doesn't seem to be melting the plastic, so uh, the, the, the bit was, was a tiny bit warm, but not really. Okay. What, what, what's this saying? We, we lucked out? <laughs> okay, let me just clean this mess up here. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, um, let's uh, shake up my Steinle res, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna brush it on. Okay, my hope was that after I had scuffed this up with 1,000 grit sandpaper, that it might look uh, kind of natural, like it had was a shaft that had just been turned down in some giant <laughs> lathe uh, but I can see here it is it is just way too shiny in fact I think it's even more shiny than it was before maybe if I had, had used a, a, a coarser grit sandpaper it might have looked more realistic anyway let's uh, let's go with the Steinle res the uh, we, we don't need to be doing the ends because one end is going to be going well into the hull the other end is going to be hidden by the hanger bearing and the propeller hub. So, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, now, I, I don't want to touch it because I, I don't want to get grease on it. But maybe maybe what I should do is wipe it with, uh, with isopropyl alcohol because it, it could be that even though I did use the sandpaper thing, I was actually moving grease around <laughs> it's it's possible it's possible um, but not too likely right okay Put the lid on in case I accidentally knock this over. All right. I would think that's more or less degreased. Now, here's the plan. In all likelihood, this is uh, probably pretty, uh, pretty chunky. No, 
know, you were all waiting for me to pour it on the green cloth, weren't you? All right, let's see what's going to happen here now. Maybe maybe I should recompose and, and move right in. Yeah, you're too far back. I'm just going to recompose here. Okay, a few moments ago when I had fine focused this thing and I had zoomed right in on the shaft, I could actually see the pits in the shaft, so we should be able to see what's going to happen here. Okay, let's uh, let that dry, and we'll give it another coat. How does that look? Hmm. Okay, uh, you will probably notice that I have a tendency to use what I've got on hand. For instance, I know that the Steinle Res Gray here may not have been the best choice if I had been in the hobby store and been able to pick up, a di pick up a different kind of primer. But this is what I had, and so this is what I used. Uh, and what I did here was I gave both of these two coats, and after the first coat, I heated up the rod with the heat gun, uh, so or the shaft with the heat gun, and uh, then I painted it again. And um, I wouldn't say it's it's baked on, it's uh, but it's... Uh, I, I do believe that it's not going to scratch very much when we try to shove it through the uh, hanger bearing here. Um, let's uh, give it a try. It'll recompose. We'll get in nice and close again. And if I, I think if I push it in really gently, you know what? Possibly it might be a good idea to to mount the uh, propeller on the end first. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Now, let's put this in very, very gently here so it doesn't scrape, if that's possible. Well, so far it's looking good. Now I got my rubber gloves on so that when I grab hold of this thing... All right, now let's get our uh, rotation correct here. Um, let me check the manual. Okay, this one has to turn this way, and it's a four-bladed prop. So that's this one right here. Uh, that's not the four-bladed prop, is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, it just looked too, kind of big there for a minute. Okay. All right, so we got that one right. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, <clears throat> maybe I should put the macro lens on and we'll move in a little... <clears throat> excuse me, a little closer here. It's kind of hard to see the uh, the finish on that. But it, it looks it looks good to me. The, uh, the prop isn't clearing the hole, though. But it doesn't have to. This isn't going to be a powered... You know, it's not going to be an RC unit or anything like that. Although I can see where this hull would lend itself fairly easy for that. Although the props on the, on here, you might want to just have as sort of dummies and just use the two outside ones because it would be a little bit hard to run a shaft all the way through here. Anyway, I'm not going to RC it, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, we're not in quite as close as we could get here, but we're we're pretty close. Close enough that you can see little pieces of dust on the shaft. At least you could before I brushed them off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's going to be all right. The other one is much the same. I'm just going to go ahead and install it. Okay, I got the other one installed. I'm just going to put a little piece of plastic down here and in a moment you'll see why Now, 
I don't have all day here. I think that should uh, cure up and uh, I think we can probably pull our plastic out now. I wonder, should I maybe be putting a little bit of CA just to hold it in there? Um, maybe I will here. On the other one I put a little bit more on. Now if I make a mess you'll know who the moron is, don't won't you? Come on. Okay. When that cures, it's going to be pretty solid. Okay, now I think before we put the glue on, we just want to make sure these are going to fit still. Seems to me I did try them before. Oh my, it doesn't want to go on all, all the way, does it? Um. Maybe, let's try the other one here. No, this one's a bit of a, a tight fit for some reason. Wonder why that is. Okay, I think what I'm going to have to do is very carefully just just drill this out so it'll go all the way in and, and it will it will fit flush against the back of, of this uh, whatever you call it. And as for this one, I don't know what happened there. Looks it, it almost looks like there's something on the on the inside of the Okay, I'm going to clean that up. Okay, I know I didn't show it being done, but I put a piece of masking tape around the bit so I wouldn't accidentally go f too far in and out the end here. Uh, yeah, it seemed to work all right. Now, where were we here? Now, I do not want this to run down. All we want to do is just stick it on there. And let it evaporate. And I want it to be straight. And that looks about straight to me. I think that's going to make a real good meld once it's melded. Maybe I'll, I'll put a little bit less on this one here. I think that was less. And just a little on here now. So let it work its way in really good. I'm just sort of eyeballing it here. I don't think there's a huge uh, thing that we have to worry about having the, uh, you know, which, which position the blades are at. 
Um, that looks that looks pretty good. I, I think that that's gonna I think that's gonna dry pretty good. Okay. Well, let's carry on. I think we're about ready to flip this thing over and put it in the uh, dry dock. Now, on the dry dock, the the part of the dry dock that I did yesterday, it's there's it's bare underneath here, and I think I should go down to the workshop and cut a little piece of plywood that's going to cover it, so that so that this stuff will all be protected in case I should accidentally set the dry dock down on something that protrudes up through it and uh, you know breaks off our propellers or rudders or marks the hull. Okay. Okay, so here's what's happened. I carefully measured to see what size of a board would I need to go from here to here and from here to here. And I went down my workshop and I couldn't find anything exactly the right thickness except this small piece right here. I could find bigger pieces, but they were uh, like a quarter inch and this is what you would call three eighths. And I'm looking at this piece and I'm wondering what, what, you know, why is it almost exactly the right width all by itself without having to be cut? And, or maybe I should say length in this case. And uh, then I realized that it was the piece that we had cut off, oh, it must be just over a year ago now, when we were adjusting this from the hood to the Rodney. And we cut this section out to shorten it. And I was thinking, well, I was kind of disappointed at first because I wanted it to cover the entire bottom. But then I was realizing all I really basically want to do is mainly protect the propellers and the rudders. And if I put this in the right spot, well, it, you know, it, it, it should work out. Um, but you know what? Uh, I, I think though that before we glue that on, there's, there's something else important that we should do here. Okay, I have calculated that the rudder and the propellers are going to come right about in the center here. I think that's going to be good. stand up so I can put pressure down on it. Yeah. That should be alright. I'm feeling kind of guilty right now because my neighbors are over here, one's with a snow blower and the other's with a snow shovel. And they're they're cleaning up my driveway and everything. And here I am in here playing. Um yeah, something wrong with that picture, right? 
<laughs> oh yeah. yeah we we got great neighbors here i'll tell you let me tell you yeah one guy with a snow blower and and his wife is out there with a snow shovel <laughs> can you believe it okay well we have to believe it i'm showing it to you okay right here and here is where the skates come up through the hull remember we glued those in yesterday and um, I don't think I need to add any glue there I think they're glued in really well and uh, right here is where the propeller shafts come through into the hull once again I, I don't think I need to add any I suppose I could put a drop of CA you know but you know what what's going to be pulling these shafts back nothing really so I'm, I'm not going to bother um, I'm pretty sure the way they're glued on there the propellers are going to stay stay in place okay um, let's uh, recompose here is there is there anything else I want to do here today and you know what I, I don't really think there's anything else that I, I got to do here today it's uh, I know you can't see the clock but it's uh, 1251 right now um, okay thanks for watching everybody and all being well We'll be seeing you tomorrow.